Outstanding. Hello, people, and welcome to Crystal Quest. Originally done on the Macintosh and Apple II in 1987. This is the Xbox 360 version, of course, which came out in 2006. Now, I've had it. I think it's about 2006, 2007, so I've had it for a number of years. All right. Now, two basic modes, obviously. Classic mode and play and regular mode. You know, I highlighted the wrong things as I did that. So, classic mode is also known as retro mode. We're going to do just standard mode. Uh, 2006 mode, however you want to say that. Whatever the case, let's play. Alright. I love the little squeaky sounds this makes. Object of the game is simple. Collect all the crystals, go down the chute in the bottom of the screen. Avoid bad guys and obstacles in between. You have bombs at your disposal, and of course, eh, the faster you go, the better your score. There's also bonuses involved, and apparently psychedelic mushrooms. Whoa! It shoots basically just like Robo Robotron does. You use both six at the same time. Your left trigger will execute your bomb, which you have a limited number. Uh, achievements include things like... Oh, let's see here. Um, number of waves. Number of bombs. Number of lives. So and so forth. I, it's been such a long time, I really couldn't tell you. Of course, difficulty ramps up each wave you go through. I think I just broke something I shouldn't have. Yeah, I got a bomb! Ooh, wait, I want this, I want this. There we go, I want that. That diamond is awesome. Gotta have the diamond. I think we'll go through a few more waves just to show you a little bit of diversity. Okay, there's a little spiky thing, don't touch them. They'll, they'll break you. Whoa, hello. You ain't getting near me, buddy. Okay. Besides the obvious graphics on this game, I really find the sounds amusing. They are quite amusing. More mushrooms. Psychedelic mushrooms. Unite! See so if we get to wave 10, then we'll go to the classic mode. Do, 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 do. Ah, I forgot what those things are, but I ain't playing with it. Kinda cool. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I thought that was a crystal. Apparently, that was not a crystal. Oh, it leaves mines. So that's a mine dropper. I'm pretty sure there's another name for it, but don't care. Ooh, I want that. If you shoot the diamond, it's just not good. Oh, I see what he leaves. He leaves more spiky things. Thanks, assholes. <laughs> there. Wait, 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 I want this. There you go. Wave when we on wave eight. Wave ten, we'll execute our first bomb. Let's see if we can go to wave ten without executing them. Gotcha. Yay! Music? Techno-ish. Background? Never really changes. Now, why would I choose such a simple game to show on the Xbox 360? Okay, ready? Ready? Get the diamond. Yes! Blow everything up! 
Well, simple. I don't want you. Go away. Xbox 360's been out for a number of years. We all know that. All right. What's my score for a little over one million for what, 10 waves? Not bad. And you can see. Wow, this is trippy. I can't even shoot. That's not good. Sounds are completely different. Wave one completed. Sorry, no time bonus. Really? Well, wow, you suck. I don't ever remember playing this on the Apple II. Or Macintosh. Why can't I shoot? Ah, I got bombs. Wow, I got a time bonus this time. <laughs> These sound effects are funny. Wow. It's like instant death if you touch a spike thing. At least in the Xbox version, you've got a little bit of leeway. I mean, you can feel it on the Xbox version. The controller vibrates a little bit, and if you linger too long on it or press too hard, then bye-bye. A little glass shattering. Alright, let's see what a bomb does. I like that. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this on wave five. Where am I? There I am. There's nobody here. In that case, boom. And that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Crystal Quest on the Xbox 360. Yeah. Until next time. Bye-bye.